Hi, I'm Freddie Neely with 3B Outdoors, and we're here spot hogging all these big bass on North Lake. Welcome to my house, Freddie Neely. The floaty bobbers and barbie rods are coming out, baby. At you. <laughs> This night here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a small mouth. Look at that. You don't get no better than this, guys. Yes. Yes. We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boom. That just happened. You won't catch anything like this out on the water. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Here we are, Fog Field, Norris Lake, October 28th or 29th, 29th, 29th. I guess. And man, got John Carroll, Norris Lake Baits, local pro, good friend. Man, we've hung out together, but everywhere except the lake. That's it. We finally got this together to come down here and fish and uh, I welcome the 3B team to my house here at Norris Lake. Man, he took us in last night, fixed us a big old steak, and we had baked potatoes and shrimp cocktail and blackberry cake, and man, you can't beat any service like that. Now, we're gonna go out here today and it's fall. What's gonna be the bite? Um, mostly what we're gonna target is largemouth and smallmouth and, you know, fish some top water, uh, you know, any kind of brush and lay downs. Water temperatures getting down, you know, in the upper 60s, and. Norris is going to turn on for the fall, so that's what we're going to chase. Going to be doing a lot of running and gunning and uh, see if we can cast and blast. That's what we want to do. There you go, and as you know, there's no guarantees, but man, we're going to worry them and we're going to have a good time. I'm Nathan White with John Carroll. We're on Norris Lake. Hang on, baby. Here's 3B Outdoors coming at you live. Stuff like the Michelin man. I'm telling you. You're, Are you used, ready to to, you're used to sitting in those heated tree stands like Freddie Neely. I, I don't even get in the woods, man. A little foggy and a little cool. Great it's, morning. That, it's that time. Yep, great morning. It's the time, fishing time, to have a good time. We'll work up this point on these open rocks and see if we can. Uh, Bust one of smallmouth real quick. We walk them plopping this morning. Feed them a custom painted mouthful. <laughs> what happened, Nathan? I told you I gotta get that first bite so I can jerk it away from him, and I did. A little spot. These fish here, they get to look at cover, so they hang out at the front of the There we go. I thought we were looking for. Well, we we got a smallmouth. What we said we was looking for. You broke the eye, baby. Well, oh boy, that's a custom painted mouth full right there. Yeah. He liked that old plopper, didn't he? He liked the plopper. Boy, pretty nice like North Lake smallmouth right there. That's a good one, Don. That's a good one. Edible. That's a start. Tater, <laughs> baby. Tater, baby. Tater, baby. I got the three B tater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what about that, Neely? I got the three B tater. <laughs> Nothing else. We got the tater. Edible. We got the stink off of the boat. Well, it's been a. Beautiful place to grow up in, and have you, did you grow up here? All, I mean, my whole week? life, yeah. I've been right here in the fall. It. This lake's been a part of my life. You know, it's just, it's what you've done. You know, you didn't have anything else. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> Hooked up. That's where that fish should have been, out on that brush. Right on the end, though. Did 
big old spook. You got a mouthful. Oh man, oh man. I believe I'm good for a four pounder now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, large man. Where he was supposed to be. What did I just kind of say? You know, I mean, I don't like to be a prognosticator or anything <laughs> like that, but what did old Nate just say? Go ahead. He said, right there will be a fish. John Boy throw over there. Coach, you got this. Make sure you got it, Coach. And you got it, didn't you, Coach? It does. We got it. That's pretty, ain't it, Coach? This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. I've got a food plot to put in, I've got trees to take down, and this is the perfect machine to do it. You can't have it, you had it last week, and besides that, I'm building me a private boat ramp down on the river where I can get to my secret fishing spot. And guys, guys, y'all need to settle down. Quit fighting over it, i got plenty of equipment. Hi, I'm Chris Dedrick with Mill Creek Construction, proud sponsor of 3B Outdoors. Freddie, what I like to do, shoot this apple off your head. Chris, no doubt you can hit it, but it ain't gonna happen. Have you been injured due to someone else's negligence? Do you know your time to file a claim is limited by law? For a free injury case evaluation, call 423-896-1974. Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Ooh, he had it. He, he got it. A bluegill. No? Smelly. Brownie. That is a brownie spot mix. That's a mean mouth right there. Is it really? Mm-hmm. How do you know? There's the tooth patch, and there's the spot on the side. Well, let them see that on camera. So, so we've got a ever seen mean anything. mouth here. So you can see spotted bass kind of lines, spotted bass thing. Looks like a small mouth. And then, two, there's the tooth patch. Hold it up. There on the tongue. So that's what uh, what one looks like when you see is it doesn't have the smallmouth bars on the side, and you first look at it and you think, well, that's a smallmouth, and then you kind of get them looking, and it it's a mean mouth with the tooth patch right there. Uh, he's not big, he's good enough. There we go. Now that's what you come for. On the brush. Let me get him eight five you. There we go. I got your boat. Good fish. There we go. Good fish. Nice one. On that wood. 
And that wood, we've been knocking around all day at them little fish and all of a sudden you just got to stay with what you know. I think my ribeye paid off, didn't it? That ribeye paid off right there now. That's a good fish right there. What a bite. That whopper flopper caught it done, man. Big John put me right on the wavy. Nice North Lake bass in that clear water. Man, you're talking about a beautiful fish. Thank you, old girl. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, babe. Sometimes your fray bill plug knocker works good out of the boat. I'm not going to tell you who done it, but somebody made a bad cast over here. Oh, my goodness. Did you see what happened? My whopper plopper broken high. Let's uh, run down the lake and see if we can find something that's just a little bit more wind blown and kind of breaks the surface up a little bit and see if we can't get bit. There you go. Good job, Nate. Let's see if we can double here real quick. Got it. Small man? Yeah, I believe so. Holy cow, look how with him. Big and with him? Yeah, look at him. He's still in there with him. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna play with him, okay. He tried to eat it away from him. We were trying to double we up. We were trying to double up. But uh, he's big free size. He hit my whopper flopper and all of it. Well, I can't take that back. He hit coach whopper flopper. I got mine hung up on the cable back there and the back come apart. Got and, him. Oh, look at this. What you got? You got a little bit? Yeah. Hello, boy. I'm gonna go ahead and chunk my well let's take it. We'll make sure we hold on so we got a double here. That a boy gone, man. Look at here. Oh yeah, baby. Told you we'd double up. That's what we've been looking for, them good green ones right there. Told that's you spot. we'd double up. That ain't no spot, that's a green Largey. One. Look at here. Can't beat it, boys. Norse Lake at his finest. I'm gonna chunk mine right there. Custom painted mouthful right there. That's what you like, isn't it? Now, uh, you go ahead and talk a little bit about that bait while I go ahead and catch them on. Or you can fish if you want to. But this me... is a whopper plopper style blank KO that we paint. Uh, this What's has, a KO? Some people may not know what it's kind of like. A what they call off. they call a knockoff. Okay, it has some variants in it than the whopper plopper. But we paint it with this brush nickel, and we've highlighted that all year long. How important this brush nickel and the brush copper and bronze and gold colors are and how they reflect light on the water and it, this is a real good transparent bait and as big as it is when you put transparency in the middle it makes the bait kind of shorten up and get compact not so much uh, as a size but it, it compacts it up that brush nickel is is by far uh, the most realistic flesh looking paint that we paint with so that's what's working. I'm Nathan White, and I approve that message. <laughs> yeah. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee, you live the mountains, live the music, live the sizzle of local flavor, live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn while you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. At Mercury, we invested more than 844,419 hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. So buckle up and hold on tight. 
Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. 3B Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the 9 foot 9 inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a 7 foot 4 inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Attaboy, boy. Attaboy. 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 He's somebody's mama. Or somebody. Somebody's mama's proud of him. <laughs> we call that a molly, not a smiley. It just mauled the bait. It's not big enough to be a small now. Holy cow. Did you see that deer? I tell you, these guys, 3B, they're a bunch of pranksters, I'm telling you. I'm tell I know why my pal Freddie now so tore up. <laughs> Freddie, I won't do anything else to you ever again. <sighs> and see, the sad part about it is I like seeing deer. I like that bite right there where you can't see it and it's got that little glare. Mm. That bait just disappears. There he, there he is. There we go, giant. Good job, Nathan. We called the shot there, there didn't we? Did. Another giant largemouth. <laughs> Here. Oh, he's got a mouthful, too. Look here. Look at that really dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, now then, what are we talking about here? Whopper, whopper, boys. That's a good one right there. That is a dandy fish, Mr. Light. How about a tater? We get, I get another tater it's from the 3B tater, boys. Baby. Yes. Whoa. All right. See, you look there. Uh, it don't get no better than that, boys. I mean, we knock around and you think, all them little old bitty fish and some of them small ones and all them medium sized ones. And then one like that goes down on it. Look at the head on that fish. Man, oh man. Let's go, Mr. Large Mouth. Good night. Whopper, plopper. That is a bald eagle. Yep. You know you're doing right when you see one of those. Called the shot again, Nathan. Brown fish, he's done been airborne. I haven't seen him yet. I don't know how good he is. He's mean. Oh yeah, that may go 18. He thinks he's 24. That could be an 18. Uh-oh, he's down to one hook. Come on. Without losing a pump or in my face. Beautiful fish, top water, lean small mouth, beautiful lake. Man, I'm just telling you, great company. Old John Carroll put us on them, man. Woo! He wasn't going to fool around long enough. He wasn't hanging Hang around. Out. He was ready to roll, wasn't he? Oh, I forgot. I don't have to worry too much about hitting stuff with this one. It ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rental. It's a rental. I just pay you back. It's kind of like rent, renting bowling shoes or <laughs> renting skates. What do you think about that, John? You think Coach will let me borrow it any more? Well, he might. He'd probably bring it to the shop and let me paint it. <laughs>
There's a good fish, too. <laughs> I that thing really went <laughs> Yeah, that is nice. That's all in the same clip. All in the same clip. Three, look right here, look, look, look behind them. They're with them? They're with them. Look uh -oh, here. Oh, he's just barely hooked too. Oh, God. I'm gonna let this in play. Get that on camera there so you at least give me credit for him. Look at him. Bring him up here close to the top. Look, 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 look at a big large mouth under. I wish they'd try to take that bait out of his mouth for that hoax for it. Hoax, swap it, swap it. Getting it done, boys. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. This will work. I like it. <laughs> you ain't going to repossess it now midstream, are you, coach? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What you got, dog? <laughs> We got another large mouth. Oh yeah. I'm going to the live well as hard as I can go. We're not tournament fishing here, but nice large mouth right there. Yeah, a good one right there, man. On the plop. I love boy John. Look at that. Smiley. We'll take them. All day long. When they thrash the top water, it's awesome. We picked up a little bit of wind and that's helping too. Prettiest fish that swims, a small mouth. No doubt. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Have you been charged with a crime? Do you know your constitutional rights? For a free criminal defense consultation with an experienced Tennessee, Virginia criminal defense attorney, call 423-217-4685. Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Well, this turkey hunting is way overrated. Let's go down to Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken. You know what Mike says, seven days about chicken makes one week. Let's go. On a good home cooked meal, come to Lingard Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. I've got a food plot to put in, I've got trees to take down, and this is the perfect machine to do it. You can't have it, you had it last week. And besides that, I'm building me a private boat ramp down the river where I can get to my secret fishing spot. And guys, guys, y'all need to settle down. Quit fighting over it, I got plenty of equipment. Hi, I'm Chris Detter with Mill Creek Construction. Proud sponsor for 3 b Outdoor. Freddie, what I like to do is shoot this apple off your head. Chris, no doubt you can hit it, but it ain't gonna happen. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Appreciate you hanging out with us and letting us stay at your lake house, feeding us a big old New York strip. I've had a blast. We, we really wanted to get this trip in and tried for a while, and I just enjoy all the 3B Outdoor guys. They've all got to be good friends. And even the hunting side? Even the hunting side. Oh, yeah. Even my pal, Freddie. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Don't, I hope he's not listening. Because his head will swell if he finds that out. Well, that's all right. He killed a good deer this week, so we'll let it go. We'll, we'll let him off. What you got, John? I got a dandy. Look at that. 
Look at that. Right there. That's what we're talking about. On the old spinner bike. You just picked up a spinner bait and launched it, huh? Mm-hmm. Man, oh man. Is that my spinner bait or yours? No, that's a <laughs> that's a little John spinner bait. <laughs> That's a pretty fish right there, man. Good tonight. I'm telling you, we've had a real good day on these good chunky largemouth on this lake. And good job. I mean, that's a, that is a good sign that these largemouth are that, that quality. And uh, good and full. Beautiful. Got a mark on it. Pretty fish. That's a beautiful North Lake largemouth right there. Real pretty fish. Good and healthy. We'll turn him back, get him ready for another day. No, oh, it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> Big smiley. Gosh, that's a bruiser. Him up in the boat. He's got a whole lot. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Pretty fish. Over the lake, smallmouth. We're going to get this rascal back in there. John, it's been an awesome day. Man, we come down here on beautiful North Lake, fall day. Leaves just starting to change. and. They bit pretty good. Yeah, we had a we had an awesome day. Uh, that's not often that you get fish like that on the horse, but you fish hard and they're here and we'll catch them. Oh yeah. This old black loon, Whopper Plopper 110, worked well for me. Had it on 65 pound braid. And I'm throwing on a seven foot seven uh, Dixie Custom Rot. And man, it's a, it's a killer deal. Caught a couple of nice fish on it. They seem to like that pretty good. Yeah, I caught some fish on the Whopper Plopper also and on a spinner bait when we get around some cover and wind would blow. And I was also using a custom made, it's the Little John Blade Stick combo from uh, Dixie Custom Rods uh, to throw a spinner bait on. It's my personal spinner bait rod that they makes for me and I really like it. Man, we hope you enjoyed it. We caught a bunch of fish. I mean, a bunch of fish, had a great time, had a few good fish, a lot of laughs and enjoyed the weather. Man, it's awesome when you get together. Thanks again, John Carroll, Norse Lake Baits. Check him out there, boys. He can paint you some good lures. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're team 3 b Wanna have ourselves some fun. Long arm it, you long arm it, and then you bring it selfie. Then you gotta get the reflection in the glasses. <laughs>